Okay, so my very first test vlog then on uh, this Samsung Galaxy S21. So this is the standard 21, not the plus or ultra, none of that stuff. Um, so this is obviously the front camera and you've got the option for stabilization and such. So right now, for whatever it's worth, this is its stabilization. I'll do a quick example of it with it off in a second, just to see what kind of differences that there are. Now, it's not amazingly bright or anything at the moment. It's getting towards the back end of the day, as far as the sun is concerned. So it's gonna be interesting how it handles this light. Also, <clears throat> I've got no dead cats on, nothing like that. And I will have focused on just one microphone. I think it is using two. I will have focused on one mic. Uh, so right now, this is the two microphones if that is how it was recording in the first place i think it will be two because my previous phones have had two on then i just isolate one of the mics and then now i'm back to just the one mic now i've got to be honest field of view is well it's better than the sony zv1 i mean that's it full arms length away there so you know on full tilt there you know it is way wider than the zv1 at a comfortable hold there it's still a bit too close maybe for my liking but it is okay and the other thing is it's nowhere near as heavy as like you know a zv1 or something like that so even if you wanted to hold it full tilt like that you could get away with that like you know for some time without knackering your arm and stuff now the other thing as well i believe this is in um, this like hdr thing it's not proper hdr it's just some way that uh, Samsung, that it's a bit breezy and I might be picking it up. It's just some way that Samsung helped to assist the thing with just like, you know, exposing some of the darker bits. So unlike proper HDR, this is just an attempt to get a bit of gain in darker areas, I think. I mean, it may well be doing two exposures, I doubt it. Um, but whatever it's doing, if it's two exposures, it'll be balancing it. So you got like a, a nice balance between the bright bits and the dark bits. However, I think it just probably goes to start boosting darker areas. So you're getting a bit more in the shadows and things like that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just flip over onto the not stabilized version. Okay, then so the not stabilized version and immediately I did see the frame open up a bit more. So whatever the stabilized version is saying that it's doing, it is definitely doing something with the picture and hopefully it is stabilizing it okay. Although when you're watching it, it doesn't look great. So it could be one of those things that kind of does a little bit of messing like afterwards with the picture and then applies the stabilization afterwards. Nonetheless, this is definitely no stabilization. And the reason why I'm standing still to do this first bit is just so I've actually got something that's steady in case it goes all like weird and wobbly when I start walking. So now that I'm walking, what does it look like? Now the thing is, with a bunch of these things as well, typically phones and whatnot, the stabilizers are not, they're not really that good to be honest. And I've, I've kind of like noticed like more rolling shutter and things on phones and things than say compared to say a GoPro or something like that. So it's debatable as to, you know, how good the stabilization systems are on these things. You know, I must have come to the worst, muddiest part of the park. Oh, these trainers are definitely getting in the shower when they get in. Right, so where was I? Yeah, I'm not, oh, <laughs> nearly went. I'm not wholly convinced that uh, the stabilizers are that good on these things anyway. But nonetheless, this should be all over the place right now because there's no stabilizer. And then also on top of that, um, we should see more rolling shutter and stuff, I would imagine, if it definitely is like, you know, not doing that that bad or whether it is doing it bad or not with the stabilizer on we should be seeing it more now so even if i just do some light wobbles the picture will just kind of jello like mad okay so i'm gonna do now is just put the stabilizer back on okay so the stabilizer is back on now so hopefully it is okay maybe although let's see there's a bit of wobbling i mean the way i'm looking at this now it looks like it's just a big trifle or a big plate of jelly going all over the place although it could be doing something post the recording, you see. So maybe I'm not seeing the final product there. Also as well, I did notice uh, with this kind of HDR mode, I mean, right now, it, I'm at, whether the picture's good or not, it's exposing my face really well. And I think that is partly due to this HDR function. In fact, what I'll do, 
I'll go under a tree now into shade and just quickly try that. Um, I mean, this, this what I'm doing right now is just off the cuff, face go. So there's gonna be a bunch of things I'm gonna have to learn about it. But I need to do all this stuff right. Okay, what we're seeing here right now definitely is not like where I am. This is exposed and upload. So whatever the HDR function is, I think it is something to do with just assisting to get like your subject in focus more, which for vlogging is going to be good no matter what. Okay, what I'm going to do is sit down and I'll just try a couple of other things because um, I want to try the rear cameras as well. Okay, so I'm on the back now and I'm not entirely sure which is which as far as these three cameras are concerned. Also, I don't know where I am in the frame. These things obviously do take time to work out and I will be working these things out because if the rear camera is going to be useful for just like a quick vlog thing sat down or whatnot or even walking then yeah you know i'll have to try all that stuff out and see how it goes however the thing with the rear cameras is right now i am on the standard focal length i can't remember what it's meant to be but this should be quite narrow as well um Again, it could be useful for something to do with the vloggy thing, although the rear cameras, I'm gonna start testing them for other stuff, as in not vloggy stuff directly, or at least not vlogging to camera, but maybe going out and taking secondary shots for a vlog, or even just trying to use it as a proper video camera as well. Now, give us a sec while I flip over to the wide. Okay, so I'm now flipped over to the wide. Once again, I don't know which lens it is that I'm looking at, because even though they are, they are like right next to each other, even like you know with lenses this close it really does help to look directly into the one that you're supposed to be looking into so i'm looking at the first lens there i'm looking at the middle lens there then i'm looking at the end lens there so even like being like you know really close together with the lenses i think you can see that someone's not looking at the right lens <laughs> but nonetheless this is the wide one and also as well it's starting to rain a little bit so i'm gonna have to reel this one in so what i'm gonna do here i'm just gonna walk a bit with the wide one i don't think i would have done it with the narrower field of view or the narrower or you know the the longer focal length and stuff because it's not something i don't think is going to be useful for when you're holding it vlogging and walking so hopefully this wide one is going to be okay for that now what i'm going to do as well as test this 8k stuff the only reason why i can't really do it with this now is because this is recording 30 frames per second and the 8k stuff records at 24 so you know, I'm not going to mix that in the same timeline and stuff because, it well, the results would just look horrendous. So I will be doing stuff with the 8K. However, the 8K stuff, I'm definitely going to be trying that with a gimbal to see what it's going to be like to use it as a proper video camera. Uh, not necessarily for vlogging, but for shooting, kind of like, you know, travel type stuff, as it were, or just general day-to-day -day stuff in 8K but with a gimbal anyways i think this will probably do me now because i need to do another couple of quick shots uh, before i get off and get in now the thing is with this this is obviously just a quick prelim it's in fact it's the first thing that i've done uh, with this setup so yeah i don't know if it if it kind of looks okay or if there's any interesting things in here or if i think it might be of use to some people i'll throw it up but it is what it is it's long it's boring and it's just me rabbiting on crap trying stuff out for the very first time so literally first time switched on and gone for it anywho if it has gone up and, and people have watched it i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now